Hi lovelies, in today's video I'm going to show you over 30 powerful herbs. I'm going to be making DIY Ayurvedic hair oil for extreme natural hair growth. This oil guys, I've never made an oil like this, okay? I have a similar video to this but these are more, it's actually more herbs in this oil. So if you want to see how I make this powerful DIY hair growth oil, please keep on watching do not forward because you need to see all the ingredients okay let's get started i'm going to be using moringa powder this is the first ingredient i'm going to use moringa boosts the strength of your hair restores dry damaged strands it protects the hair from heat damage it's still for color treated hair okay guys now moringa has a rich quantity of zinc vitamin a and iron which are very essential for hair growth. Moringa is rich in amino acids, which are building blocks of cells. Therefore, this helps in rejuvenation of hair, thereby reduces alopecia. We're also going to be using coffee. Coffee is very powerful because it stimulates and boosts hair growth, reduces hair loss, and makes hair thicker and longer. That is why, you guys, I chose to use a lot of Ayurvedic herbs because I know that these herbs are very, very, very powerful. So coffee is one of them. So I'm going to be uh, mixing the dry ingredients first to blend them together. Okay, so that is what I'm doing first. You put it in a blender. I'm also going to be using a uh, rosemary dried leaves. So science and personal experience together both strongly suggest that rosemary does protect against hair loss, particularly that related to male and female pattern baldness. Rosemary is actually known, you guys, to regrow the hair. So this is the ingredient that we need in our Ayurvedic DIY hair growth oil. We're also going to be using barley. Barley promotes hair growth. Barley is rich in micronutrients, thymine, niacine that help in hair growth, combats hair loss. Um, anemia is one of the common causes of hair loss. It also restores hair color as well. We're also going to be using cloves, guys. Cloves boost hair growth by increasing blood circulation and enriching the scalp with oxygen. In addition to vitamin A, C, and K, they also contain iron, manganese, potassium. This not only adds strength to your hair, but also prevents it from falling out. So as you can see, I am just using, um, just taking the dry ingredients, putting it in the blender because I need to blend it. Never put dry ingredients without blending it because you're not getting all the nutrients that you need. Okay. Now I'm also going to be using pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds have got nutrients and minerals such as zinc, selenium, copper, magnesium, iron, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin B, and C. Pumpkin seeds, um, they help to cap thinning hair. Uh, and also, especially in men suffering uh, from baldness due to excess uh, testosterone. Okay, guys. So, pumpkin seeds is a powerful seed so we want all these benefits in this ayurvedic hair growth oil diy we are also going to be using kalonji seeds known as black seeds black seeds promote hair growth black seed may also be able to reduce hair loss too a study in 2017 found that a hair treatment containing black seed oil resulted in a reduction in hair fall of up to 76 percent now this is fennel seeds fennel seeds are rich in vitamin c magnesium calcium phosphorus and iron which is why many are using its extract from preventing hair loss it helps to strengthen the follicles by bringing nutrition to the scalp curry leaves are rich in antioxidant vitamin c iron that helps strengthen the hair roots and prevent hair loss curry leaves um, beneficial and prevent hair loss hair thinning premature growing of hair and hair damage Curry leaves are rich in nutrients and that can stimulate new hair growth and prevent hair loss. The beta carotene and protein in curry leaves can strengthen the hair shaft while iron and vitamin B and C can help to nourish the scalp. Propy seeds is proven hair smoothing and softening and conditioning properties. Flaxseed. 
Flaxseed is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E. Flaxseed can strengthen the hair and prevent breakage. Okay, guys, and also it also helps to soothe inflammation on the scalp and ensure the hair growth too. You can also start eating it too. I'll leave the video below how I make flaxseed porridge. Uh, chai seeds. Chai seeds are bursting with essential amino acids. They do some great work from inside the scalp. They inhibit hair fall, give a boost to new hair growth. They also help fight inflammation, zinc and copper, preventing thinning of hair, thus helping hair growth. You guys, this oil is packed okay most of the ingredients they're actually saying it helps with the hair regrowth that is what we want in an oil okay so i'm super excited now lentils is one powerful ingredient too because it's full of folic acid folic acid is also essential for hair growth and cell renewal <laughs> you guys if you are serious of hair growth you start using lentils now chickpeas Chickpeas are rich in protein. They can prevent hair loss. The manganese they contain can strengthen your hair. A deficiency in manganese can uh, also lead to slower hair growth. Okay, the vitamin A and zinc in chickpeas also fight dandruff. So it is a powerful ingredient. Quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. Quinoa promotes hair growth, strengthens hair follicles, protect your hair from pollution, seals split ends, helps detangle frizzy hair, conditions your hair, also reduces dandruff, okay? Quinoa contains a rich source of minerals like calcium, iron, phosphorus, and potassium. You guys, I'm actually using this oil. As I told you earlier, I'm no longer using oils on my scalp on a regular basis, but with this oil, I'm using it every single day okay because i made it intentionally okay because of all these ingredients i made it intentionally so as you put the dry ingredients in the blender you're going to put an oil i love mustard oil because it stimulates the scalp that is the oil that i chose intentionally because i know what it does to the scalp it stimulates blood on the scalp so i'm going to put oil to cover the seeds and then i'm going to blend it to make it a fine paste okay guys this step is very very important to make your diy ayurvedic hair oil for massive hair growth so we're gonna blend this together to make a fine paste like what i said uh you guys ayurvedic herbs are very 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 powerful especially if you're using a lot of them each ingredient have got different nutrients and benefits to your hair so if you use different kinds of them a lot of them they're going to benefit your hair like a big deal all right guys then go and check out the video i did on diy ayurvedic hair oil for hair growth recipe 20 plus ayurvedic herbs this is 30 plus okay this one i'm making now 30 plus herbs i actually forgot to put star anise i'm also going to be adding that too Star anise boost growth factors, lengthen hair shaft, and support vascular, endothelial, and hair growth. Star anise also aids in hair growth, combats scalp issues, enhances luster and shine, guys. So you're getting all this for your hair. If you absolutely love this DIY Ayurvedic hair oil for extreme natural hair growth, please let me know in the comment section below. So let's deal with powders now, okay? We're going to be mixing the powders. We mix the dry ingredients. Now we're going to mix the, um, the powders. If you didn't know, cinnamon actually encourages hair growth and reduces hair loss, okay? Now, it also has antifungal properties which might help treat dandruff caused by malassezia, a type of fungus. Cinnamon can dye or lighten your hair though. You need to be very careful because I'm mixing different kind of DIYs. That's okay, all right? It also helps to stimulate the scalp as well. 
Neem has antifungal properties that may help within the treatment of dandruff. Okay, the effective use of neem to your hair can relieve the itchiness, inflammation, and irritation associated with dandruff. The regenerative properties of neem help in reducing hair loss. Now, trifala. Trifala stimulates the hair follicles and roots to encourage hair growth, okay? The high vitamin C content in amalaki also help with strengthening the hair shaft. Garlic is rich in nutrients such as vitamin B6, C, manganese, selenium, and they also help in stimulating hair growth. Garlic is also fated for its commendable antimicrobial properties. In other words, it can kill germs and bacteria that can prevent a healthy hair growth. Garlic has a high content of minerals such as calcium and zinc. These nutrients promote healthy hair. Garlic is also rich in sulfur, which is essential for the foundation of keratin, a protein that aids hair growth. Now, maltani. This one is very shocking. Maltani stimulates dormant hair follicles, improves circulation in the scalp. This is what we are looking for when we want to use any kind of oil. Now, this DIY Ayurvedic oil, guys, for natural hair growth is super powerful. Okay. Very excited because I'm already using it every other day. Every single day, actually, on my scalp, guys. I'm really, really, really loving this DIY Ayurvedic oil. I'm going to be using Aretha. Aretha prevents dryness of scalp. Aretha powder is rich in minerals and vitamins that help heal the dry scalp. Vitamin A, D, E, and K help to make hair shiny and smooth. Aretha help to moisturize the core of the scalp. Wow, this is like super powerful, okay? Now that blue thing, they, it was, I think, something that I cut. Like when I was trying to open the powders, I cut one of the plastic and it went in there. I just took it off. Now I'm also going to be using Talsi. Talsi strengthens hair strands. Talsi powder has properties that help to strengthen the hair strands. The powder strengthens your hair strands and combat them from further damage. In addition, Talsi powder help in nourishing the hair roots deeply, reduce hair fall, um, and makes hair look thicker. Now, I actually used ashwagandha, but I did not film it. Ashwagandha helps strengthen your hair and scalp barrier, therefore reducing hair breakage. It also promotes the production of melanin in your hair. Uh, melanin is a pigment produced by uh, our cells to give your hair its color. Okay, it also prevents graying of hair. So I used ashwagandha, guys. If you are asking whether I used it or not, I did. Uh, this is the Neha mixed with different kind of herbs in it. It has a lot of herbs in it, guys. So I also used that. And I also used amla powder. This is amla powder. Amla powder helps in stimulating and boosting thicker hair. Now, black pepper powder. Black pepper is a natural remedy that can help promote hair growth. Its active ingredient, piperin, can help improve blood circulation in the scalp, which can promote hair growth. That is always what we want, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm also going to be using hibiscus powder. Hibiscus actually stops hair loss, make your hair look healthy and lustrous, prevent premature growing, thicken hair and add volume, treat treat dandruff condition against freeze dryness and breakage prevent split ends mm, guys this oil is very powerful now ginger is one powerful ingredient as well it helps to improve the circulation of the scalp which also stimulates each hair follicle which in turn promotes longer and stronger hair the many vitamins minerals and fatty acids in ginger also contribute to strengthening your hair as trans to combat hair loss i also ended up using 
ladies i also ended up using sardamon okay it also strengthens hair follicles and nourish them um i used it off camera because child i think my camera was too hot so it just switched off okay now sardamon benefits for hair growth sardamon is a great spice for hair growth as it contains zinc the presence of zinc helps in healthy hair growth okay all right so it's rich in zinc if you have a lot of zinc you guys in your diet and also in your hair it's going to help to regrow a lot of hair so after infusing the oil this is what it's looking like you guys honestly i am in love with this oil i actually use it you know i i'm the person who doesn't like to put oils on my scalp on a regular basis you all know that i haven't been putting any oil but this oil i am putting on my scalp because i know all the benefits that it's going to give me okay and i'm also going to be doing a hot oil treatment very soon with this particular diy ayurvedic hair growth oil all right guys so right now i'm going to be um straining the oil because i don't want particles in my hair so you can actually put this oil straight in a jar together with its powder so that it further infuses but for me i don't really um i i wouldn't do that because it has already infused on the stove so why put the powders in to further infuse it well it's up to you if you want to leave it to further infuse you can do that but for me it's a no-no because when i'm taking the oil and using it i don't want to have those powders again okay to strain it again you understand so this is the oil guys um i'm going to be putting it in a bigger jar okay and let it sit in there i am so excited guys because i have all the uh, diy ayurvedic powders herbs in there that will help to grow and regrow the hair and thicken and boost volume all those uh, benefits that we talked about um for each ingredient you guys i am super excited now i know that most of you would want to buy this oil i'm not selling it guys i'm not selling it i haven't made up my mind yet to sell this oil because i know that most people don't like ayurvedic oils because they have a strong smell that is the reason why i haven't actually made this oil to sell it because most people don't like oils that smell this has got a strong smell because this is different like ayurvedic powders that are powerful with powerful odors okay so if you don't mind the odors let me know if you want this oil but ciao as i've said i'm not actually selling this oil i made this oil for myself but if you feel like you really 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 want it you don't care about the smell let me know in the comment section also on warm Soul natural 2020 let's talk about it but as i've said i'm not selling the oil it's for me and my daughter's hair all right um so yes, that's how you can make your DIY Ayurvedic hair growth oil. Um, very, very powerful, you guys. Very, very powerful. The way you can use this oil, you can use it to do a hot oil treatment. That's how you're really going to benefit from its powerful uh, nutrient and all this good stuff now i'm going to be uh, putting essential oil so i have about two four six eight two four six eight now i have six essential oils that i'll be using i have speak nad or is that how you pronounce it speak nerd hey child please okay speak nerd is known to promote the hair growth of hair promote the growth of hair retaining its natural color slowing down the process of graying that's what it does okay So this is rosemary essential oil it's also known to promote hair growth stimulate blood on the scalp peppermint essential oil is also known to circulate blood on the scalp these um essential oils guys they help to promote blood circulation most of the hair loss that we face is because we don't have um, enough blood circulation and our 
our follicles is starved of blood this is frankincense uh, essential oil i'm also going to be using that too now frankincense stimulates follicles improves hair growth from the root uh, nourishes dry fizzy strands detangles knots thereby arresting hair fall imparting a strong thick and silky mane okay guys so clove bud essential oil also helps to promote blood circulation on the scalp helping with stronger hair okay now lavender essential oil also does the same it promotes blood circulation which helps with thicker hair growth Now, this is Calamus essential oil. It's known to be used to treat hair and scalp related problems such as hair loss, rough hair, dull hair, gray hair, thin hair, and baldness. So, Calamus essential oil is a very, very good essential oil because it also helps with all of that. I'm also going to be using myrrh. Now, myrrh is a, it strengthens the roots and thus reducing hair loss along addressing dandruff. Its scent also stimulates the brain, promotes alertness, and boosts energy. Hi! Ciao! <laughs> so, yes, this is how you make your DIY Ayurvedic um, hair growth oil, guys, for massive hair growth. Thank you for watching. Give me a like and also comment below.